I'm in a place called St. George's, um, Quebec. I got here last yesterday afternoon and I got a phone with a Canadian phone and everything. I, I was kind of worried about that, but I went to Walmart and these guys, they were right on it. They were really good guys and, uh, geez, I'm crawling. There was no, like, it was a little bit of a language barrier thing, but then uh, this other guy came over, stepped up. He was bilingual, which was really helpful. At first, I, I was just going through my phone. I have an app, you know, Google Translate. I was trying to do that with the guy, and then someone saw us struggling, and he came over and really, really great. Worked out great. I got a Canadian phone. I got data and stuff like that, so, you know, I can, um, I can use my phone. But it's kind of rainy here right now. The bike's... The bike's really wet, and um, anyways, should probably get out of the rain, huh? <laughs> but it's kind of, it looks like if this is going to last for another maybe, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes, and uh, be a, I'm gonna, then I'm going to get on the road, and um, i got a map laid out in here. All right, this is my map here. It's a map of Quebec. It's, it's a real small, small map part of Quebec. Uh, on the other side, it's, it's bigger, but this is a little bit better for where I'm at. Now, of course, I, I live in Maine, so what I did was I came up this Route 201 through, like, Jackman, Jackman, Maine, and then I went up into here, and I'm staying in a place called St. George's. And what I did was, you know, I really wanted to just hop over the border, get a phone and stuff like that. So I'm staying right here. But my ultimate goal, really, is over here, the Gatsby Peninsula here. And this is this whole shoreline here along the St. This is the St. Lawrence Seaway here. And all along this shoreline route, um, oh, what is it now? Oh, 132. Route 132 goes all along the coast and uh, up to the peninsula. And there's some gorgeous, like, rocks sticking out of the, the you know, the water over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down. At, you know, I'll probably stay here. And I'm going to stay at Ramunsky probably tonight. Um, that's where I'm kind of heading today after this rain quits out. And then I'll come around here all along the shore come down here and then of course we're running out of map here this is actually new brunswick this uh you know tan area here well i'm going to come down here and then i'm going to hop on to uh, obviously on another map i'll be hopping on to um, prince edward island i think i'm going to go on and uh and then we'll take it from there I reached the St. Lawrence Seaway. You can see there's some clouds up there. I've been riding in the rain most of the day, so I, w I didn't do much filming, but this is like a little boat ramp here. I stopped at. There's this boat ramp here. There's some cool stuff over there, right? There's like a camping area here. And over here, I noticed these things over here. It's like these sand, uh, sand castles, like, like, you know, they have, sometimes they have these competitions, you know, for people building sand castles. These things here almost kind of look, yeah, they're definitely sand sculptures. Wow, a lot of mermaids. Oh, look at that one. It, this one here kind of caved, kind of came apart a little bit. Oh, there's interesting ones here. Pretty cool. 
Yeah, this yeah, it looks like they're they've been eroded a little bit. That one's got a big crack in it, kind of. But... Look at that one, man. <laughs> Interesting artwork here. Some sort of octopus kind of looking thing. <laughs> Another octopusy, octopus kind of looking guy. This one's kind of cool. It's, oh, it's a fireman with a with a hose there. Come on. That's cool. Anyway, well, it's kind of cool just stopping at a little restaurant here and campground over there. Anyway, I got to the St. Lawrence Seaway. I'm going to be heading up to Ramunski today. See if we can get there. I don't know, it's quite a ways. But um, now that I think the rain has stopped, so. We'll see what happens here. Hopefully uh, we'll make it to Ramunski and be able to dry out a little bit. Got a little wet today. It was, I decided just to go for it. It was, it was raining, <laughs> so whatever. Sometimes you gotta ride in the rain. All right, more to come. A lot of these cool little towns here along this road like this and they all have these beautiful churches just like this one up here amazing they got the two cathedrals there had a stop here this is uh we got some really cool flowers and stuff here these guys anyway <laughs> i turned around to take a picture of that other thing and then i stopped here this is cool here's another cool little thing here little farm here with this windmill Looks like they cut off some wheat or something here. Anyway, I just thought that windmill was really stone, all stone like that, with these little windows, little deck there, little wrap around stairway. It's just, I don't know, just caught my eye. Cool stuff. breakfast and I have crepes with a western omelet and uh, my waitress barely spoke any English but I was able to use my app and get what I wanted. Now I'm going to devour it. Alright, I'm here in Ramunski, Quebec and here's another one of these like gorgeous churches, beautiful steeples, and they got steeples in the front and steeples in the back, and just cool. I just this one here is 
it looks like they're doing some repairs on the corners or something but anyway really cool Munski is kind of a college town and there's the St. Lawrence Seaway out there and as you can see it's kind of cloudy and foggy and it's really I don't know we're expecting like drizzly rain so I don't know what I'm you know I'm just gonna take it slow because up in the gas B it's supposed to be really rainy so I don't want to get up there and get poured on and down here this area here is supposed to be pretty decent today without you know really rain rain so i'm gonna try to just hang out and do a little bit of youtube in here or a little filming and stuff but there's a couple of little spots a couple of lighthouse things i want to see well i've seen them before but i want to you know video them so you guys can see them so anyway i just had a nice little crepe western omelet wrapped in a crepe and uh I, you know i did pretty good on the old language stuff i i'm getting better you know messy messy beaucoup <laughs> you know, i can say thank you anyways oh man all right off we go you know what we're saying more to come the Rabutsky harbor what up Boats here up on the hard. I don't know what they would be fishing for. Cool boat right there. I like the uh, stabilizers on the side. They must be what replaces those ones that hang out, those fin things that they put in the water. But anyway, pretty cool boat. A lot of, a lot of cool boats here. Go back. A little lobster boat there from the Gaspe. I think he's got one. <laughs> there he is. Oh, oh. It's a crab. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Unless that's what they're fishing for, I don't know. Do you mind if I film you guys? <laughs> no one here probably speaks English. Yeah. What are you fishing for? No, um, you don't speak English? I do. You do? For the fishing language. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did all right. <laughs> oh, well. So what you're fishing for? Et oh! Eperla. What? Eperla. Eperler. Eperla. Eperla. Long. <laughs> like a land, long. Long. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. You what do you do? How do you eat them? Uh, fries. Fry. Yeah, fry yeah. them up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a smelt, like what we would call a smelt, almost, but. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Good luck. Here we are. This is. Munski Harbor here still. A lot of the locals like they they call it Imuski, Imuski or something like that. Yeah. This here, I believe there's a big cargo. I know there's a big cargo ship. 
that is also, it's not really a ferry, but you can load your vehicle into like containers. So you load your vehicle into a container and then they put it on this ship and you can go way up into like just in Quebec, just south of Newfoundland, um, Newfoundland Labrador. I guess it's more, more Labrador at this place. Um, way up on the other side of the St. Lawrence Seaway. And um, I've always wanted to go up there, but you can't really get along the seaway the whole way because the road stops and then it, you have to really, you gotta have to travel way back to get a, a to get a, a road that goes way up and then back down and anyways it's it's a lot of lot of riding and i've been i want to do the, that trip but this here is also an option where i could load my bike on here or load my bike on you know at a different location and then get up to like just a little south or i'm saying a little this side of New, uh, Newfoundland Labrador um, and uh, and then continue on and then take a ferry over from there over to like uh, Newfoundland and, and then come back uh, around Newfoundland and come back um, through Nova Scotia and whatnot. But I believe this thing here is kind of where you would load the bike on or you load load your car on. I don't know if because it has to be a small enough car to fit into a container. So, you know, and I'm not sure if this isn't where they do that. Will they load it right on the container or whatnot? I don't know. I don't see any, anywhere else here that would do it. But it looks like this is, this is where this boat comes in. And it travels up and down the St. Lawrence. And uh, anyway... It's just something I'm considering. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot to think about. The other way to go up there is like you have to, I'd have to like, uh, you know, I'd, I'd have to be ready to tent and, because in, in between it's really rural up there in Quebec. And I'd have to be, have to be tenting and then I'd have to, uh, you know, carry fuel and water and stuff like that. And I don't know, I'm really not equipped to do that, but not to say that I couldn't become equipped to do that. But anyway, and my bike really is designed to be on road. And I think a lot of that is off road. So, you know, it's kind of an adventure riding kind of thing to do, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking into it. I'm still looking into it, see what I can do. Anyway, more to come. This is a really unique lighthouse. It's really cool how it's got these little big things on the side. Big braces or something that hold it up. This is just like north of Lomonsky. You got this guy. Girl here. I don't know, I guess she's... She must be fishing or something. Empress of Island. I think it's a museum. It's a museum. I don't know if I can go in there. a pretty cool little area here. Little ice cream shop. Sorts of cool stuff here. It's pretty cool. Probably get further away, but you can like 
There's another view here on the side. It's really foggy out here today. You know, it's the way it's going to be today, so. That's why I don't want to go completely up where it really gets really nice. Because it's just going to be all fogged in. It's like when I went up into Oregon and Washington. I didn't see any of it. It was just all fogged in. And there's something else cool over here. I don't know if you can see it peeking out over there. Onondaga, Point O Paris. This is where we are, Point O Paris. And this submarine was based in Halifax, I guess. But, uh, I don't know. It looks like the radar is spinning on the top. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it ain't going nowhere. Pretty cool. You could take a tour on it. I've I actually have been on there in the past years. Pretty cool. I love this stuff. I love this type of stuff. Hopefully you can see that. Buffalo. <laughs> Bison. They're inside there. Yo, brother! What are you doing? Let's see. I got to hear the mate and uh, just checking this out here. These guys are unloading salt from this boat here. Track the trailer there, big load up. <laughs> well, I guess they got to put some salt in the roads, especially up here. I bet you they get a lot. They need a lot of it. Pretty cool. The ship over there. I don't know what it's doing. It's an odd looking boat. But... Anyway, I'm gonna go check this place out. Here's the information booth in that day. And, uh, Pretty cool here. I don't know if you can see it. But there goes that salt ship that was in port. Looks like it's all done unloading and off it goes. I, it said it was from St. John. But it's just stopping here to have a, this thing here is a two day cigar. I don't even think I can zoom out far enough. There you go, that might be better. Anyway, I think I'm gonna maybe post some video tonight. But look at this thing. <laughs> this is the biggest cigar I've ever had, I think. Anyways, it's really cool. I'm just hanging out a little early here. And it uh, looks like the weather is breaking. You can see some blue sky over here. Tomorrow's just gonna be gorgeous. There goes that salt ship way off in the distance. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it's really, really nice here. Really nice. <laughs> More to come. Stay tuned.